But we know that in 2016, this country experienced the most outrageous tax giveaway ever seen in Ghana when the NDC led by President Joe Mahama handed a tax waiver of 832 million US dollars to Meridian Port Services under the 1D1F under the 1D1F all the 42 companies that government has so far brought to parliament for a waiver the total waiver being requested being applied for by government is not even up to 450 million and these are Ghanaian companies in Parliament, Dr. Forsen, Deputy Finance Minister, etc., etc., as he then was quoted, said, and I would quote him, he said that the tax incentives were not merely considered for the sake of being granted. But that such exemptions were necessary. This is Dr. Forsino, as he then was. Dr. Forsen, Deputy Finance Minister, as he then was. He said, if the incentives were not granted, it will result in those investment relocating to other countries. Gentlemen and ladies of the press, you have heard him on the floor of the house. Why has he conveniently chosen to stay away from his own argument? Which argument is to the effect that when you grant tax waiver, it helps the economy